Also, Dave, Sorry, do not tell your mother. Hey, guys. Retro Man, do not tell your mother about this channel. <laughs> Please do. She'll murder us all. Take us out of this existence. Okay, so uh, we're back. Dead Rising 2. It is only myself, Chesney and Fish, because Prime does not want to well, be Well, that here. we don't want to lug Fish's TV downstairs. Yeah, quiet you. So we finished up saving the universe from zombies or whatever. I'm... So you don't. Trying so to my sidekick things. is now gonna carry the rest of the team, like Robin does usually sometimes. Okay, and I have this is fish no healing going items. out to be a Teen Titan. I'm a Teen Titan. Yes. No, wait, you're Red Robin. I'm Red Robin. Yes. I Dalton. don't actually remember Red Robin. He's um. The Tim Drake becomes Robin Red Robin. Oh, he does. Yeah. Okay. So every one of them becomes their own. Wait, superhero. I don't want to be Tim Drake. I want to be. I He's want to be Dick Grayson. One, no, I like Dick Grayson more. I thought you liked Jason Todd the most. No, I, I like him when he becomes Red Hood. I hate him as Robin. See, I don't like him even as Red Hood because, A, it's just the whole him killing thing breaks the whole Batman code to me. Wait, I actually Rush like it was? because of that. Because it kind of... It, it kind of okay, well, puts then, a big know, spin actually, on it. Uh, Tim Drake's my favorite one just because he's the smartest of them. Uh, I'll agree with you there. And he's Okay, like, this... Right now... Looks yeah. retarded. No, that is the hero that we need. <laughs> <laughs> You know who this is? I just thought of it after our, our talk a little earlier. This is Mighty Number no. 9, man. <laughs> <laughs> I can actually see it now, too. Holy fuck. I think that costume That's is more... That's actually up. how the game's gonna look. Oh my. No, the game looks fucking phenomenal. I actually backed it. Nice. I only put like 10 bucks in. Yeah, that's fine. But I have to heal. Every little bit helps, I like to believe. Orange juice. orange juice. Oh yeah. The that OJ man, that OJ. Yep. Thank you. Come again. Oh. Oh shit. What? No, no super zombies. But yeah, so you're playing overtime mode. Right? Yep. This is overtime mode. Uh, now, quick question. Um, did you skip the cutscene or is it uh, recorded somewhere else? I think that ended up getting or recorded you somewhere think, else. Or do you know? Uh. Don't question me. <laughs> All right, folks, you probably lost a cutscene somewhere. So, fish. Basically, let me put it this way: TK has uh, Stacy and Katie, and he wants you to get him shit because he has them. Basically, it's a really ah damn it, they threw up on me. All right. <laughs> actually, fish. I've gone back and I've watched some of the earlier videos. Of this I actually realized, you know, what? I did kind of like this game. It just kind of had a downward spiral for me. Part of it is a no volume for us. So that yeah, is... no volume kind of sucks. Uh... I love how door stops on me. Uh, Wait, are you still alive? You are still alive! alive. Fuck you. Not, well, not technically. It's dead. That, that Retro is Man. true. Retro Man is also here, folks, if you can't hear him, because he needs to speak up a little bit for the mic to pick him up. No muttering. M muttering is bad. Yes, no muttering. Drink so I'm... Orange juice. No, oh, I'm, yeah. I'm going to drink the coffee creamer. La, 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 la. Because the coffee creamer... Heals less than the orange juice, and I didn't need as much health. no nutritional value whatsoever. Exactly. Speak louder, damn it! <laughs> so, I'm gonna take a look at this. Oh, you know what? Hold on. I did fuck up. I need uh, to go here. You fucked up. Nope. I almost left when I needed this. Oh, lab suit. What the hell? What the hell's that? Lab suit? It's something that TK wants. Why the hell does he want a lab suit? Uh, access? don't question so it. Can pretend to be so let's doctor. see. This is Better the Fortune City Hotel. That's outside. That's underground. This is in the Yucatan, and that's underground. I'm trying to figure out what the fuck he can do with all this. So I'm, I'm going to go to the Yucatan. And the only thing that's coming to my mind is he's trying to make a, uh, a double dare course. He's trying to impersonate Dr. No. Light. Dr. Light? Yeah. <laughs> lab coat. Oh my god! <laughs> Clearly. Dr. Light's a badass in the goddamn comics. Well, I mean, he rewires a Metool and a Motobug to make a communication system to contact Mega Man outside the Death Egg. Well, I mean, it, it's Dr. Light. This is the man who in the X series is like, by the I know way... X will be in the, I know that there will be a power plant facility built around this spot, and X will be here one day, so I'm going to put a capsule here. He is the only exactly. Mega Man character that has a beard. A full-blown... You they know, that's make, a good point. Eggman and why they make fun of that. They're like, and his choice of facial hair. A beard? <laughs> Only like, geniuses have mustaches. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. They're back and forth. Just, only you, you, you know what? That just, that just proves my point. The power of the facial hair. 
This is why I have the hobo beard half the time. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. I will admit, though, Wily's stash and Eggman's stash, you could just straight up destroy <laughs> the world of that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you can. That's clearly a super villain stash right there. Ah, uh, zombies! Absolutely. Here's a fun little fact. Apparently, according to the comic book, the Arch comic book with Mega Man, um, back when they were developing Proto Man, uh, Wily had his hair, instead of out to the side, just back in one. So he was bald with some weird, like, chicken ponytail. What the? I, I shit you not. <laughs> he, he went bald from all the, uh, well, no, making all those Well, actually, they explain. Robot masters. Well, they try to give some explanation as to why Wily, like, you know, just says, fuck you, Light. And it turns out that Wiley and Light went to the same, like, robotics college. They were colleagues all the way through. And Wiley, I guess, did some unethical experiment that he was banned by, like, <laughs> the science board of the world. Ooh, the science from, board of the world? Well, that's the only thing I can think of here. Because it's like it's like a ban. <laughs> it, it's banned. Mega Man. Just go with it. <laughs> Just shut up. Just go with it. That he's banned from directly working on any sort of advanced robotics. But he helps. He helped Light out develop the Robot Masters. Bad Wiley. Bad Wiley. Ben. Well, no, he helped Light develop. Banned forever by the science the board of the world. Well, no, who the fuck else can do that? I mean, Ben's it's gotta be... everything in the world. I mean, well, no, it'd be like, well, what the... World's the, universe. Well, who the, fuck, headset. who the fuck is the, uh, is like, the, like, on the board of, like, you know, that, like, the science the community. Like, there's got, like, there's, there's some kind of upper class science community, because, I mean, <laughs> that kind of shit can happen in our world, can it? Uh, yes and no. Okay, I'm gonna go well, no, for the expensive it, there's like the champagne. Ethics, there's like the ethics boards and stuff like that that cover all sorts that cover experiments all over the world. It's true. I dealt with. Remember, I dealt with that when I did that. Uh, when I did that. Um, what the, the hell is that? Board of Unethical Robot Masters. Yes, <laughs> that board, the most important board, founded by Scratch and Grounder from from Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! But as, no, what I mean is. Um, what what the hell was that? Back in college, I did that stuff. I what what's that called? I I did the work for my teacher and I got credits for it. Internship. I did that intern work. Remember for that data that, collection? Uh, yeah, I remember. Yeah, we had to go through the boards and stuff like that. That because, unpaid slave labor. Uh, well, it helped me graduate college on time. So in other words, unpaid, you know, slave, labor. unpaid slave labor. It was like four credits. That was easier than any course I ever had to take in my life, dude. I, Although I will admit, you do know I spent many I a night fucking just shifting through thousands of emails. I know half half the time you were on Xbox Live talking to me while you're like, "God damn it, God damn it, God damn it." <laughs> no, it was the dumbest thing ever. Like I'm not gonna name any names, but I had to go through emails and just I had to look at how people responded. Like because I had to send emails out pretending like the emails I sent out were like, "Oh, uh, my name is like I I had to give some connotation to like." Email, so. No, not bot checks. It was it was to see if like certain in, like oh, certain bot checks. organizations are are preferential to race, ethnicity, uh, social status. So I would send out multiple like e- letters to like the same guy, and it'd be like, oh, uh, my name so, like, is my name is Mister Popo. No, no, I'd be like, no, I put something in like my, like my my qualifications are I'm head of like the Jew society. Like, not the Jew Society, but... <laughs> I'm just digging myself a hole. You really are. You should uh, probably The Jew stop. Society and the, and the Science Board of the Earth are planning to take <laughs> over the world. The Confederation of Asian People. You know what I mean? Though? Like I'm like I'm like a, like I'm high standing in like the like the synagogue or something like that. My local sy- okay. Lord. Do you guys you, you know? might want to stop before no, you get it. Listen, you know, further. listen. I'm driving this bitch over the edge into the sea. I'm sorry, folks. Our channel is now going to be banned by YouTube for racist comments. It's not racist. Well, it kind of was racist, but <laughs> <laughs> I was seeing if they were racist. You're just making it so it's so My much worse gonna for be yourself. On that, actually, <laughs> your name's going to be on that. Yeah, because I remember I was I oh. became editor for the data. You're going to have the N double double ACP on your ass. <laughs> no, dude, it got checked by the board of the Earth. Okay, okay. It's <laughs> yeah, good. the science board of the world has said okay. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is is that the stuff I sent out, like I had to connotate that I was some kind of ethnicity, race, or social standing. And I like, let's say, like, I'm interested in joining your program. Uh, my name is Rodriguez Iglesias, or something like that. Or then, like, the next email I sent out, like, my name is Frederick Steinberg. You, you know what I mean? Or I would say, like, I'm part of like the like the the 
I'll list something on like you know how like people do volunteer work at churches like I'll mention like I do volunteer work at my local synagogue or something like that and I'd see like depending on and I had to look at stupid things too like oh like their response to me like is it hello Mr. Blah Blah or is it like hello like if they how they say hello to me I had to fucking quantify that he and did. I, he did. And then I had to quantify yeah. how they said goodbye to me oh. and what they said to me. Now I know every time when I apply to a job, I get uh, orders for pizza. Clearly, my Italian name is... Uh, <laughs> Don't give them hints, damn it! <laughs> Nationality really doesn't give that much of a hint no, anymore. No, it really doesn't. There's... It doesn't, but, the, the, but I you'd am, be shocked at what we actually found I am out. Lord of the Italian. Oh, I, I'm sure I would be. Like, it was actually... Well, I wasn't shocked in the least, but I'm a cynical motherfucker. But as an Italian, I am part of the meatball making... Makers of the... Uh, <laughs> I would, the Italian or Swedish? The gift basket is now yeah, mine. Because, sure. I'm sorry, the Swedish well, Jeff I, joke with you is always going to be prevalent in my mind. Uh, and, yeah, I kind of agree with Prime on this <laughs> one. <laughs> Damn you. We're sorry, Retro Man. I love you. Shorgen, burgen, burgen. Warp it, orpen, orpen. Derp, 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 derp. Well, it's really not derp, derp, it's I know. And the crazy thing is, if you actually watch like videos like Swedish people talk, that's like how they actually fucking talk. <laughs> it's actually funny as shit. But yeah, but like I said, that's like what I did. But like the whole point I was trying to make with all that is, I still we still had to go through a board of people. So Wiley had Wiley was like refute like he was said you are banned from working on advanced robotics like directly. So he can't actually get in with like the soldering and the metal and all that stuff. He can work on it's like the... you can repair TVs. No, he can head. work on the plan end, like like the paper end. So that's what a lot of the stuff he did with Light. And when Light went to go announce the Robot Master, he said, Wiley, your name has a lot of anti... You have a lot of issues. He has a lot of hate now. Yeah, like, it's like, it's like <laughs> well, you're putting these out there as Light Industry Robots. What about Wiley? It's like, Albert, I'm sorry, but right now we can't have the bad press. We're still coming up as a company with these guys. They also explain that the Sniper Joes are just mass-produced protomans. Wow. That kind of makes sense, though. And people are even asking, like, well, how do you justify that these robot masters that you've made for peace, uh, Dr. Light, were funded by the development of thousands of Sniper Joes? No comment. <laughs> He's just like, talk to the beard. It's like, <laughs> Mega Man! Kill him! But so, they actually show, like, in flashbacks, Light and Wily had a good friendship. It wasn't until Wily just got PO'd. Ah, that makes sense. So, back to the game! Yeah, back to this game. Back uh, to this Capcom franchise. I have collected most of the stuff. Actually, you know what? You were talking about Capcom's going down the shitter. Do you think Super Street Fighter Ultra 4 and Dead Rising 3 might get them out of the shitter? Uh, Dead Rising 3 possibility. Okay, and I know you're going to say maybe not the Super Street Fighter... No, I, I think Street Super Fighter... Street Fighter's gonna get quite a bit of sales, considering how cheap it's gotta be to develop. No, Street, Street Fighter's gonna get them some stuff, but that still leads to a prevalent problem with Capcom, which is just taking their games that are, like, very well received, and then just releasing other versions. Yeah, that's a problem. Capcom, compromising photo. Yep, I got the compromising photo. Was that in the secret box of Patrick Starr? Yes. What embarrassing photo of SpongeBob at the Christmas party! So now I have to go underground for the Are last those two items. Zombies playing slot machines. Yes. Yes. What the hell? Well, I mean, they were playing slots when they were infected, and they're old ladies who went, "I'll get the next one." In hell. I'm pretty sure I saw a couple of zombies at the casino recently. I can't stand casinos. I don't mind them. I'm sorry. It's a, it's nothing but crowd, I loud, flashy noises, and don't cigarettes. Don't mind them when smoke. I win. Yeah, that I that's my thing. I don't mind them when I win. I yeah, did, did we ever tell you the story about this fucking lucky shit? <laughs> I oh, I want to beat. You. Where's the tech about Blade Box? I want to beat you to death with that. So me and him go down to a a, a casino where a funny comedian okay, saying is this way. And we're, Fish here is like, hey, let's kill some time by doing a little gambling. So. I don't really know how to gamble that much. The most gambling I've ever done is the Celadon slot machines. You put your in Pokemon. money in and you push the button. That I've, I've learned that I like gambling in video games, where it's not actually my money I'm losing. Because I did slot machines, I lost 20 bucks, I'm like, I That's have, the thing, you have to not lose, and then you're fine. Well, fuck that! Well, you also did max bet as many lines as possible, well, actually, and went like, that's how I bam! Mean. But the thing is, max yeah, you, bet you, does offer you better... Uh, 
It does. Rewards. But the point is, he was playing a dollar machine. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you don't what? see that. Actually, I was playing a penny slot. <laughs> No. Yeah, but they actually for the first ten you did, but we moved. Remember? Because oh, yeah, I lost right. my twenty like yeah, right away. But yeah, but I had no fun because here's the that. thing. Here's the thing, Retro Man. If I throw away money, I want to get something like oh, yeah. my limited edition Cadman Arcade Stick, number two two four out of three hundred made. It's so nice. It weighs about eleven pounds. It is my E Live Pro D four four B A S E Live stick, baby. Works on PS three, Xbox three hundred and sixty. We're being fucking sponsored by them. Shut up! I struck no, a deal. No, we're not. Actually, I did strike a deal. We have, we have a sponsor. No, you didn't. What would you do if I? There's actually a did? system. Uh, for casinos, so then first of all, we would have to start monetizing this, which would get us banned because we use uh, Microsoft licensed games. Oh shit. Even if we were monetized but then paying us not through YouTube. Uh, the only way it could happen is if we, you would have to sign a contract through Microsoft itself. Is that what the Rooster Teeth guys had to do? Yeah. I think they'd be okay with that. I wouldn't mind doing it. I mean, even if it was only like we got five bucks a week, that'd still be pretty bitch. Uh, no, yeah, but the point is, we'd have to be contacted by Microsoft. Wait, can they contact us or we can contact them? Uh, I think they have like, to contact us. Oh no, what if someone, what if let's say Canada wanted to sponsor us because our bank bets are internationally known? Uh, it would have to be a non Microsoft Game Studio game. But no, if if Canada wanted to sponsor us, could we go to Microsoft and listen? There's a company that wants to sponsor us. Wait, is that what I think it is? Is that a fucking glass? That's what I. What the? Yup. Dude, okay. it's fucking, it's fucking uh, American Gladiators. Sweet. I was wondering where one of these things was. Nice. Is this thing it's the most random ass place ever. Not really, when you think about it, you're in a giant tube. Yeah, I know. What the hell is it doing there? <laughs> it just happens to be wherever giant tubes are. It, remember, that's the thing about Dead Rising. The, the only world. thing that is serious in Dead Rising is the characters. Nothing else. That's I know, true. I know, I know, but still. Either be absolutely zonky or just be absolutely serious. No in-between. Yeah, I disagree with that. Actually, no, I take that back. I do like certain in-betweens when they're done well. Like, Devil May Cry is a very good in-between. What the hell? That zombie has a gun. That zombie's holding an O2 thing. That's a geriatric guy. And he's oh, dead now. No, wait, that was a construction worker. I'm assuming this thing breaks. Uh, probably like any vehicle. Douche. This is pretty awesome. Oh, uh, there it is. <laughs> Got it. Okay. Well, okay, you just phase shift through it. USB drive. But yeah, um... What were we talking about before? Uh... Casinos. Yeah, yes, casinos. Casino. So, we're at this casino, and I've decided that I don't like... Wasting money like that. Like I said, if I want to throw away my money, I want to throw away it on something that I can get back. Like I said, like I'll dump money into an arcade stick or like a DVD or something like that. Fish here decides, hey, you know what I've never done in my life? I've never played roulette before in my life. Let's go play roulette. Well, Fizz yeah, because we also had only 10 minutes and I had 20 bucks left. And I went, fuck it, I'll lose the 20 bucks in a, <laughs> one thing. So, he, so his fat ass puts all of his money on the nearest fucking chip to him. Yeah, I didn't want to reach. Then the motherfucking Asian guy spins it. <laughs> it lands on something. We don't even know what it lands on. Looks at fish and then starts handing fish stacks of chips. And had to go had under to the go table to get more. Underneath the table to get more <laughs> stacks of chip and give fish more. Holy shit. And then fish just looks up and goes, Can I catch out? <laughs> nice. In 10 seconds, this fucking piece of shit. Made like $118. Yeah. Nice. And then I made him buy Tekken and Blade because I wanted to watch that. Which I, I still haven't even really plugged in because it's all in Japanese machine. with English subs. That's fine by my standards. Yeah, I know, but I tried playing it on my old TV, which uh, the resolution cuts oh, off the Oh, yeah, that was the the actually, the CRT actually a system with casinos. Like, all the outskirt machines, like the ones that are I don't like, want to listen to your Illuminati edge. bullshit. <laughs> this has nothing to do with that. Get Gil and Yuri and out of here. I'm in, on the outskirts of casinos where people can see winning, that's where you win. And I did test this theory, and it works, because the first machine that I played on the outskirts, I got 100 bucks on. It was a yeah, but you got a, yeah, but that could be an outlier. I did it twice. But as far as I'm concerned, the only I, I bet back I want to like make... Bucks. The only so. bet I want to ever make is just nothing. Alright, I'm fine hanging on to my money. And then Fish says to me, it's like, well, don't you just have throwaway cash? 
And I wanted to hit him I with didn't a belt say, I never said, did you have throwaway cash. I said... Well, the thing is, you just gotta not lose, and then you're fine. I said, I don't consider it throwaway cash. I consider it, a, like, surplus money that I... I don't using. understand the concept of surplus money! <laughs> it's called taking a risk. No, it's... For potential you goals. know what is it? Well, I, I almost made the fucking drag joke here. Take a risk, or... Take a chance! <laughs> No, like I, like I said, Prime. Well, hold up. What did TK just say to you? Uh, I got all the stuff, and basically he's like, now go to the arena. So, we're completely ignoring this game. No, yeah, but as I was saying, much. Prime, my thing is, I consider it, okay, I have money that I'm going to spend. This is the amount of money I'm going to spend. And that's how I look at it as. I know, but the way I look at that is, if I have extra money that I can spend, I'm just going to use it on a game or something. This is also why I, I go to the casino, like, you know... Maybe three times a year. All in all, I, I, hey, I'm not gonna lie. I am not a. I, I don't like to lose. I no, mean, you are a very sore loser in everything. I don't want to say a sore loser, but yeah, I, you I, are. Victory. Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom three first fight. Fuck you. <laughs> Listen, I'm sorry if the Setsui no Hado has taken deep root inside of me. And you know, I'm still giving you your win, but like I said, I do have to bring it up. Ah! I do have to bring ah! it up. I'll yell every time. <laughs> he didn't actually ah! quit. Well, I'm ending this here. So, uh... I will scream for a straight <laughs> half hour. I know you will, because you're a jackass. <laughs> so, um... You know what? No, I'm a big man. I fucked up the double, the double elimination brackets. Me and Fish were supposed to have one more bound Ultimate Marvel versus Capcom. So, technically, my win is technically null and void. But... No, I'm giving it to you, though. Yeah, but now I just feel like I'm a whore. Well, you are, but that's besides... That is beside the point. Fuck you. Okay, so if you like this, please like and subscribe to our channel. And as always, we will see you in a little bit, people. Bye-bye!